ammo. Ammo's always good. Now the uh, entrance back there to the warehouse. Yeah, let's just use that one more there. I was gonna say the um, one where you're on top of the uh, in that train yard there. That's probably the best way to get in. But let's do this one. Let's try this one out. See, this one's a lot harder because they're all over the place. But as you can see, they're all over the place. Which, uh, ain't fun if you don't got, you know, your, uh, invisibility. That's kind of nasty. How should I know? much you gotta arm this and run for your life. Except I'm gonna stealth for my life. <laughs> you could also shut the lights on. Well actually um you could you could drop the crate on people. So that's pretty entertaining. Also gives you a uh bit of cover. You're gonna be sneaking. Once you're outside, just run as fast as you can. And sure, sure, there was a lot of the warehouse I didn't investigate because it's just, you know, enemies and running around. And I know, I know, I'm copping out, but you know what? That's okay. We just want to get out of here as quickly as possible now. No, no one's here. What are you talking about? Explosions always remind me of my childhood. Hopefully no Sabat saw you escape. They can be somewhat antagonistic. Friend? Foe? Duck Duck Goose? I see my reputation for once does not precede me. My name is Beckett. I haven't been following you per se. We've just coincidentally been at the same places at the same time, for different reasons. So sorry if I unnerved you. Tell me, have you by chance seen or felt anything strange since your embrace? On the beach, their blood was thinner than water. Thin bloods. They're a fascination of mine. 
They are considered a weaker, more human-like kindred. Hence the name, Thin Blood. But they are sired, same as any of us. I've heard a large concentration of them live in this city. They're one of the reasons I'm in Los Angeles. I see dead people. A ghost? Hm. Quite ordinary. I generally pay wraiths no mind. All but a few are willing to give up their secrets. Now, you could tell them about uh, Jeanette and Therese, but they didn't say if you tell anyone, they'd kill you. But you're already dead, so let's do it anyway. The Baron's sister is herself. Two, wa two minds, one face. Something to look forward to, eh? All I care to share. Most of my contacts here report sensing something unusual in the night air. Like a sense of dread or pressure. But I'm not a native to these parts, so I can't tell if it's irregular. And since you're still fresh, perhaps you're not attuned to it. Pleasure meeting your acquaintance, but there are rumblings for me to discredit. We shall, I'm certain, meet again. Or never again. Good night, young one. And be careful. You're very likely being hunted by the Sabbat. Goodbye, wolf. There's Tom. Nice work, Cupcake. I felt that explosion a mile away. It's all over the news, too. Man, there's gonna be some pissed off Sabat just howling for blood tonight. <laughs> Do you know of Beckett, the noble savage? Beckett? Well, I know of him. Why? We traded words. No kidding. Huh. Must be something major happening if he's in town. town. Beckett is a historian of sorts. He's unearthed more vampire lore than anyone. Well, that's all Beckett does. Seek the truth behind our condition. You are truly nasty-licious. Farewell. You better get back downtown. Prince LaCroix is gonna want to hear all about this victory. I'm sure he would. And that's pretty much all of Santa Monica. So next time, hopefully, we will be heading downtown. time downtown.